Hi everyone, and welcome back to how to create an animated comic book intro. In this lesson, we'll create the title animation for our comic book animation in After Effects. So let's get started by creating a new composition. And this composition we're going to name logo comp and then just keep everything exactly the same as we had for our previous composition and then click OK. Now from here we can design the look of our logo or text. So for example let's start by using the type tool at the top here and we're going to type in comic book. So type in comic book like so. And then at the bottom here, let's create a, another uh, layer. And then let's go ahead and type in intro animation, like so. Cool. And now, from here, we can go ahead and resize them as we see fit. So I'm just going to resize this. Now, if we go inside our layers here, we can go to the transform panels here, and we can just go ahead and scale this down like so. We'll scale it up just a little bit, just so it all lines up together like this. Excellent. And then once you've done that, we want to make sure we don't have any of the layers selected. So just click out of the layers if you've selected anything. And then from here, let's go ahead and select the shape tool, the rectangle tool here. And we just want to draw out two little rectangles like this. And let's remove the stroke. So let's make sure that the stroke is set to none, like so. And the fill is set to white, like that. And then let's go ahead and duplicate this. So if we select our shape layer and press Control D on the keyboard, we can duplicate that. And now we can go ahead and move this down to the bottom like so. Excellent. Now from here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and select all of the layers here. And we want to select this button here that's called Choose Grid and Guide Options and then select title action safe and this will actually give us some guides so that we can move our layers into the center of our composition like so and then once you've moved this to the center we can now go ahead and select title action safe again to remove it awesome now that we have our logo design created, let's go ahead and hop back into our comic book intro comp by clicking on the tab here. Or if we don't have this down here, if we've accidentally closed it, we can actually go up to the top in our project panel and double click our composition like so. And then that will open up our comic book intro comp. Awesome. Now from here, let's go ahead and decide when you want the comic book animation to fade out and our title to appear in the animation. So for example, we want the animation to start fading out at about five seconds, like so. So let's move our timeline to five seconds. And then we want to click on the image sequence layer, open it up and then go to transform and go to opacity. And we want to go ahead and click on the keyframe icon here to create a keyframe at five seconds. And then we want to go forward in our timeline to about eight seconds here, like so. And then change the opacity from 100% to zero to create another keyframe, like so. Now this will make our animation fade out to focus on our logo when it appears. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and click and drag our logo comp into our timeline and then just make sure it's on top of our image sequence like so. And then with the logo comp layer selected, let's go to 
effect and then go to transition and then from here we want to go to gradient wipe like so click on that to apply gradient wipe effect to the layer and then we want to move the timeline to about three seconds here like so and then with the logo comp still selected we can go ahead and go to the effects control panel up here and from here we want to change some of the values so let's change the transition completion from 0% to 100% like so and then the transition softness we want to change this from 0% to 20 percent and now in the drop down menu next to gradient layer we want to change this from logo comp to our image sequence comp like so once you've done that we want to click on the keyframe icon which is next to transition completion to add a keyframe at three seconds now we want to go forward in our timeline so let's move this forward to about seven seconds. And just to make things easier, let's go ahead and open up our logo comp just so that we can see where our keyframe is, which is over here. So you can see we've got a keyframe for transition completion at three seconds. And we want to add another keyframe here. So let's go ahead and change the transition completion from 100% to 0% for seven seconds. Awesome. Now if we play the animation, so let's go ahead and go to our preview panel here and click play. Now you'll see we have this cool logo transition effect which matches the animation of our photo image sequence. So let's go ahead and play that again. awesome. So that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to add a camera to our scene to make our animation feel more exciting and dynamic. See you all there.